Before you visit Banff, learn these surprising things you must know. Banff is a town. It is also Banff National Park inside Alberta, Canada. So when you are researching websites and social media posts, be sure to notice whether it is talking about visiting Banff Town or the Banff National Park. I've got some surprising tips for Lake Louise and Moraine Lake that I'll talk about near the end, if that's in your travel plans. From Calgary, you can only drive as far as Canmore without a national park pass. Any further and you must have a pass. Get it online so that you do not have to stay in the long lines in your car. Two tips for visiting Banff National Park, and that is to stay in the right lane as you are entering or going through the checkpoint. And the second one is to have the receipt of your National Park Pass on your dashboard or taped in the inside of your window while you are there, like every day you are there but we forgot when we visited. My name is Laurie and I share tips to help you travel the globe without a worry in the world. I am a pilot wife, so I hope this video helps you know what you must know before you visit Banff. We were surprised at how easy of a drive it is from Calgary Airport. It's a flat road, so you're not going down steep roads if you're visiting in the winter and it's an hour and a half tops and then you're right there in the town of Banff. One travel tip is that you can rent a car even though you just have a United States driver's license. If you are wanting to take photographs, an epic picture spot is the municipal building at the end of Banff Avenue. I want you to walk from end to end, which is probably over a mile of Banff Avenue. That's like their main street, okay? I did not know that. But you can take great pictures right in front of the Cascade Mountain. You can walk through that gate for free, or you can drive behind the municipal building and park for free. It's like a hidden gem that a lot of tourists do not know about. One tip is that there are some free gardens that look like Japanese gardens behind that parking lot that are easy to just find a little hidden spot of shade to sit in for a while because you're doing a lot of walking. Another tip for taking pictures is it would be a beautiful photo behind that building with the Canada flag waving in front of the building and then the mountain. And the third tip is the best time to take photos in Banff, the town, is from like mid-morning or right after sunrise to about two o'clock in the afternoon. Everywhere you turn, there are mountains, like layers, terraced, mountains. We were surprised, being from Houston, at how hot it was without the AC in a lot of buildings. Just be prepared by packing layers to wear in the summer and in the summer. In the summer and in the winter. I took my coat, my sweatshirt off at 7 a.m. when it was 31 degrees while I was having coffee at the highly recommended by us coffee shop, Wildflower Bakery, because of their croissants. They are like authentic croissants and all of the other food and delicious. Oh my gosh, the cream on the latte, I could have eaten with a fork. It was so real. <laughs> Right outside of that bakery is a free fire pit and uh, some Adirondack chairs. So just take a rest and talk to locals there. Soak it all in. It's going to be wonderful. Another thing that we were surprised at in Banff, the town, is that the food was amazing. We're foodies and we were expecting tourist level food, but we were very surprised. I highly recommend Lupo. It has floor to ceiling windows, so you can sit inside the restaurant or on the outside deck with gorgeous views of the Cascade Mountain. And my two friends in Calgary, who are also foodies or food snobs, <laughs> they said the chef at Lupo is very, very uh, famous in Calgary. And we saw real Italians eating and talking to a waiter who was learning to speak Italian in Lupo. There are a lot of shops, restaurants, and museums that are highly rated off of Banff Avenue. And there are many of those streets. So you can spend a lot of time on Banff Avenue and be very happy. We were very surprised that many places close after the Canadian Thanksgiving, which is at the first or second week of October until the next season or until December. Be sure to do your research. <laughs> One thing we learned in Hawaii, and I would also apply it in Banff National Park, and that is do not go to a restaurant hungry because you could have to wait if you have not made reservations online. 
We were also surprised at how beautiful the drive was coming back from Lake Minnewanka. We took a boat tour before they closed for the winter season. And they also have a beer tour that you can rent canoes and kayaks. We got a picnic lunch from Evelyn's Cafe and drove to Lake Minnewanka about 15 minutes near Banff Avenue and got a boat tour. But when we drove back, we went across the dam that Lake Minnewanka is on and it's like a 20 minute drive, but oh my word, it's beautiful. So if you have the time and a car, we recommend that. We were also surprised at how easy it is to walk to Bow Falls Trail from the end of Banff Avenue near where the municipal building is. But a travel tip is you can drive to the Banff Springs Hotel, the really pretty one that looks like it's set in the woods. It's really right off of Banff Avenue, but you park there on the street in front of the Banff Springs Hotel. And then there are little signs at the right there at the stop sign that tell you turn here to go to Bow Falls Trail you can drive there or you can hike on the little trail that is very, it's like maybe a 10 minute hike. You're along the road for most of the way to that Bow Falls Trail viewing point. And there's a small parking lot if you do want to drive, if you have someone with in a wheelchair. Uh, but you can walk along there, but there are lots of steps and there are some steep parts. But it's an easy walk or hike, if you're like me, from the Banff Springs Hotel. We were also surprised before we visited Banff to know that the rooms in the Banff Springs Hotel have not been updated in many, many, many years, if ever. So what we heard not to stay there. When we researched visiting Banff, we were surprised to learn once we got there that Lake Louise and Moraine Lake are 45 minutes to an hour from the town of Banff. So when you're researching and you see Lake Louise Banff, it probably means Lake Louise Banff National Park. The Post Hotel has the absolute best dinner that you will ever have in probably all of Canada, but they're closed for October and November as well. But they're up by Lake Louise, not in Banff. I know you're going to do your research about how to see Lake Louise or Moraine Lake, the more photographed one. You can reserve a spot on a charter bus online to visit Moraine Lake and Louise Lake or either of the two. And they park you at the Lake Louise ski area. So there's a lot of parking. It's a lot easier and you're guaranteed a spot within that hour of buses that run. And then if you are staying at the Chateau Fairmont Lake Louise, we didn't know this. So we bought the charter bus tickets, but they can give you a 15 minute shuttle ride in a little van for $10. That'll take you to Moraine Lake and back to your hotel where you're staying at the Chateau. If you're staying at the Fairmont Chateau, you are supposed to make a reservation for that little van shuttle ride. If you do treat yourself at the Fairmont Chateau, Lake Louise, like we did, they do not have air conditioning in most of the rooms. And it was 38 degrees or 31 degrees that night. Our hotel room was very warm, even with the window open and the ceiling fan going. So if you're staying there in the summer, know that you're going to need the stand fan that they have for you in the closet. We are just too tired to turn it on. Here's a great tip that a lot of you need to know, and that is that if you are visiting Lake Louise or the Moraine Lake for pictures, you need to get there. Like the best time to take pictures are anywhere from right after sunrise till about one in the afternoon. After that, it changes the watercolor and they're not as brill the watercolor is not as brilliant in the mid to late afternoon. If you are visiting Moraine Lake, you must not go past the parking lot and you have to go near the restrooms that are out there and look for the sign that says rock pile. It has very easy steps that'll take you probably seven minutes to get up. It's on top of like this rock pile that's not going to fall. And that is where you can take the above water pictures of Moraine Lake. Lots of viewing points, lots of places to take pictures of the lake if you want some selfies. If you want to just hike, you can just walk beside the lake and there are all kinds of hike, hiking trails back in there. But if you want those epic photos of the water at Moraine Lake, you're going to have to walk to the top of the rock pile. And that's how you get there. <laughs> all right, if you are visiting Banff, you do not want to miss what I wore to Banff. So check out that video when I make it. 
and let us know when you're going, what you're wondering about. Thank you so much for watching.